Virgo, welcome to your full moon energy read. Specifically, on March 25th, there will be a lunar eclipse full moon under the sign of Libra. <laughs> a lot going on there, and that's not all. Just for extra fun, there will be a total solar eclipse April 8th. A lot of powerful energy over, the, say, oh, the next month or thereabouts. <laughs> so it's going to be pretty darned awesome. In fact, where I'm at in uh, central Texas, we'll be in the direct path of visibility for the total solar eclipse. So, wow, a lot going on, you guys. In fact, uh, April 7th, which will be a Sunday, I will do a Sunday check-in completely devoted to the total solar eclipse energies. So let's see what's going on, but let's start with that lunar eclipse. Already powerful in and of its own right. Fantastic stuff. What's going on, please? Show me. Show me Virgo, please, and that full moon energy. Show me Virgo, please, and that full moon energy. Energy concentration for the next several weeks. What's going on, please? For Virgo, like always, take what resonates, leave what does not. And if there's more than one energy clearly apparent on this board today, then you reverse those energies as you see fit. But do keep in mind, it's about you. Okay? What's going on, please? And if it doesn't resonate at all, normal. Check your other placements. What's going on, please? Show me Virgo. In that full moon energy, show me Virgo, please. In that full moon, what's going on? Just did sources there, so we're fantastic. Oh, fantastic. That's you, the hermit. That's your power card. First position, fantastic. What's going on? Seven of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Stars. Resting now, Four Swords, lots of healing, lots of healing for you. Uh, and in your depths of healing here, you feel like you, which is the whole point of, you know, healing. And your particular signature being here as the hermit suggests that you've walked the path before uh, in terms of enlightenment. So it's not just healing, guys. It's enlightenment. That's where a lot of the healing comes from, which is why, personally, the hermit's one of my favorite healing cards. It's because it's based on experience. You can't look back on the path you've walked to hold up the lantern unless you've done some walking. The idea being is that if you've walked the path long enough, you can stop, turn around, look at how far you've come, and it's like, hey, this is what I liked, this is what I didn't like, and that in and of itself can be healing. You know, the idea is experience. So we've been resting, we've been quiet. You're starting to feel a lot more like you, seven of wands, and now I see you blocking something. You're saying, I won't have anything to do with it, and it's based on experience. Okay? Uh, you're saying, I've drawn a line in the sand, and um, I'm good. Seven of Wands isn't about just blocking, guys. It's about there should be a reason behind it. And if you just showed me the Four Swords and yourself, I'm going to trust that you're blocking something for darn good reason. It's the idea is it's in my best interest. Wheel of Fortune, time having passed a little bit, and understanding what our star is, what our vision is, what our dreams and hopes are. You really had to come a long way, if you will, in order to understand something here that I'm seeing today. We're going to start right there with that Four Swords at the heart of your reading. Show me that Four Swords, please, for Virgo. Show me that four of swords, show me that four of swords, show me that four of swords. I'm going to do one more. Show me that four of swords, please. Four Virgo. Death. Two of swords, eight of cups. Okay. Okay, you're showing me that you had to recover from some emotional exhaustion and confusion, and you're saying you've done away with all that death. It's kind of like saying I did what I needed to do, I understand what I needed to understand, um, and I'm ready to come back out. This took a minute. You're saying you had a lot of confusion in you with the Two of Swords, and that it created emotional numbness, that you didn't know how to think one way or the other, and you didn't know how to feel one way or the other. And now death is here claiming all of that. So what I'm saying here is acceptance, okay? If something, uh, something that was difficult that confused you once upon a time, and it created an emotional absence in you, why was I ever caught up in this? Where did that come from? Trying to understand it all. You say you've rested on the subject and that you have been transformed. Okay, that means you should now have answers, okay, and that you should now have renewed feelings, something that says, I'm a little more awake than when I last checked in with myself. And so you are. I do see you waking up. So you've had a transformative effect, and that's good. When people insist upon confusion to his swords and 
Eight of Cups, emotional numbness. We need to reflect on why. It's not enough to just be like, well, that's how it is. No, we actually have to do some work in order to either A, eliminate these feelings or to be transform it and say, you know what? I actually do know some things and I actually do feel some things. You know, me being absent and checked out is not Virgo full time. It was something that you had to do. I wonder what conclusions you have drawn for yourself. Let's check you out. Let's see that hermit, please. Perhaps you are Virgo reborn. Let's see that hermit, some of that hermit, some of that hermit, some of that hermit. Lots of healing here. Lots of healing. But the, the healing came from having to rest on eliminating difficult subjects. Confusion. Emotional deprivation, numbness, absenteeism, if you will. Let's see that hermit. I want to see what you've learned what you're experiencing now is you are indeed a Virgo waking up I believe let's see that hermit Queen of Swords Ten of Swords okay justice you're saying you're reflecting you can reflect on an ending now being where you are, like I told you, you experienced transform uh, transformation. You went from, I don't know anything, and I don't know what to feel, to, okay, now I know some things, and I've accepted it. Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords, Justice. You're saying there's an ending here that you have come to terms with. You're saying it was correct. Be it by your hand or by someone else's, regardless, I don't care. Your output is the same. I know what I know now. I couldn't accept it before. I was rejecting what I knew before. I didn't know what to make of it, and it took me into a bad place, Christina. I'm coming out of rest, and I can see this ending, Ten of Swords, for what it is. And I can honestly say it was the right thing, Justice. You know, so there was an ending here that perhaps at first you resisted, understanding it. It doesn't make sense to you intellectually. It didn't make sense to you emotionally. You just knew it hurt. Like I said, there's a lot of things you're saying I didn't know, etc. That's come to an end with death. So you're showing me acceptance, and not only is it, it's one of those things that you can literally reflect on. You, your power card, right here. That's what I said. The whole point of healing from the hermit is reflection. You can look back on whatever this is now and say, it was right. The ending was correct. I can see that now. That's some powerful insight. I'm not talking to the Virgo who has yet to accept an ending. I'm talking to a Virgo who has. That's the big difference between somebody who's casually viewing and someone who needs to understand, am I in a good place now? Yeah. We've accepted an ending for what it was. We can see it intellectually. And we feel the essence of it. It's one of those things where at the time, I bet it was painful and confusing as hell. But what's crowning you now is the experience and insight and wisdom to understand and say, this is how it must have been. It needed to be this way. It was correct. I see that now. Very good. Very good. Let's see that seven of wands, please. You ever been in one of those situations where it's like, uh, at the time, I absolutely hated this. I hated everything about it. I didn't understand any of it. But looking back on it now, I get it. You know? You may have ended something, I don't know how long ago, that at the time made no sense to you. You just knew that it hurt, or it was done to you and you still don't understand it well now you get it you get it now okay take that knowledge with you you get it now what this has to do with your reflection under the full moon energies i do not know other than the fact that you are likely feeling peace with this now you're showing me lots of healing over difficult concepts guys there's something about it are you at your one year with whatever this represents, is it at your one year? Is it a one year marker? Let's get that seven of wands. That's for some of you, not all of you. Show me that seven of wands, please. Ten of wands. The star, the king of pentacles. Okay. Something, the star, it's here twice. Something that you have blocked, you're actually standing up for. 
soon. King of Pentacles is trying to claim the star. Something that you are highly desirous of. You're saying I couldn't access it before. I'm gonna now. Ooh, look at you. Look at you. You're saying it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna do it though. I see you claiming a star, even if it's difficult. You're saying you used to block it before. Now you're saying it probably costs you more energy to block it than to try to accept it. Oh my. Look at the big you know what on Virgo. I wonder what that star is. Very curious. Very curious. I was say, am I past the point of 10 minutes? <laughs> I can start swearing now. That was like, say, look at the big on Virgo. Oh, yeah. So, that's a blockage that's coming down, not one that you're enforcing. Good. And I agree with your assessment. Typically, the stuff that means the most to us, that we go out of our way to block, it costs us more energetically to deny it than to embrace it. I see you relinquishing the need to block it. A particular wall around an important concept is coming down for you. I don't know. And accepting this so peacefully after rest. I made that very clear. At least I should have done this. Didn't happen a week ago. This rest accumulated over time. And relinquishing that, it's kind of like you're going to the star now. The star is like, you know what? I always used to block this or I just assumed to. I don't think I want to do that anymore. Something about the acceptance of this ending really freed you up and made what seemed like an impossible task, an impossible vision, an impossible dream. You're saying, maybe it's not so impossible. I made it through this. Why can't I do that? I like that. I like that reflection. I do. That's a good one. I like it. You're right. Many people don't see that. When you overcome something like this and you accept difficult endings and you work your way through it and you work your way through it, you do the work, you do the time, everything else seems trivial after that, doesn't it? That impossible thing. Because that's what this is, honey. That impossible thing. I'll never get over this. I'll never get over this hurt. I'll never get over this pain. I'll always be confused by it. I'll never understand it. Once we stop using those words, never, 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 should da, 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 we start to relax around these concepts that we said we could never understand. And we start to understand them. And then once we get past that, we're like, you know what, this other thing that I spent so much time rejecting, <laughs> that ain't nothing. Hmm. I don't know. When you see the magnificence of things like that and energy flow, and what you've overcome, <laughs> a self-imposed blocked star is nothing. It's like, you know what? Maybe I can go for that star. I think you're right. I think you're onto something. You actually see it taking place in reality. Now that you stop with the never talk. And I can't see it or it's impossible. Like, I got over this. That means I can do that. You're damn right. Let's see that Wheel of Fortune. You stopped with the impossible talk, eh? I love that. I love it when people stop with the impossible talk. I see it in comments all the time. It's so self-defeating. That means you haven't gotten over whatever it is that upsets you. Once you do, you'll start to see how possible the impossible is. I love that. You're showing a good demonstration of that today. I'm not saying you're perfect. There's no such thing. What I'm saying is just that your willingness to overcome something is quite high. And then you can move on. I see you connecting with someone relatively soon. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Queen of Cups of two people's free will. I see them connecting literally over time. So they're showing me the passage of time under this upcoming full moon. So for some of you, I'm going to go back to that point of, has it been a year? There's something here about the passage of time that's coming up consolidated within the next, let's say, 30 days for the sake of it. Let's suggest the passage of time that's coming up now. Virgo may not be your son. The 
you might be showing me the passage of time strongly linked to this Virgo because that's the power skill associated with Virgo, the hermit. Healing through insight and experience. Nine of Pentacles, the lovers, the Queen of Cups. It's beautiful. And from a place of independence, these two people are connecting via the heart. They're already strongly connected, as the lovers often indicate. Okay. It's beautiful. And it's happening over the Wheel of Fortune. Is this your impossible star? Or is this just something else you're experiencing this month? It's beautiful. Free will, independence, and a strong heart space shows up. Queen of Cups amidst two people. They share these attributes. May you connect. May you connect strongly from the heart. For some of you, it's been a year. Okay, let's go ahead. i got to see that star now. <laughs> the one that you said it was impossible. It's an impossible thing, Christina. There's no way I can possibly bring this together in reality. You know what? Now that I've been through some shit, maybe not. I love that. It's a good attitude. Honey, if you haven't been through heartbreak and travesty, how can you possibly know what it is you can do? until you've gotten through the worst of it. Everything else after that is a self-imposed belief, which you can easily bypass. Let's see that. Well, you know what? You and Taurus. You and Taurus. Great reading the both of you. I was convinced I wouldn't say something half as well for anybody else. And that's like you and Taurus. Good job, the both of you. All right, let's see that star, please. The Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, literally in that respect, not literally, but in that respect of marrying this star, bringing it together in reality. You're saying you don't have all the answers yet, but you're going to work through it. You're going to offer it something because there's something about bringing it together in reality that you've got to know if you can. You're saying... Perhaps we couldn't try before, I couldn't try before, I didn't know how, I'm going to work through it this time. That's beautiful. Uh, so the star is being consolidated, four of wands, under this kind of working, and I mean working, fluctuating contract. I'm not quite sure else how to describe it. And Page of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles says, I need to put something into this. There's something about this star here, this impossible star, that you said, I can pull it into reality, I just resisted. Okay. But now that I've accepted this, there's nothing I can't do. I have a very strong connection for you that it hasn't been around in a while, but it is coming back through over the Wheel of Fortune. So again, that's where I'm getting that one year, more or less rough translation. For some of you, it might be nine months, but we're looking at, let's say, nine to 12 months. Okay. It is coming back through and the star says, it's, it's, it's still no easier for me to understand, but this time I'm putting reality into it. Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, you're saying it's not always clear how, but the idea is that the star has a longevity effect if we start reaching for it. And you're saying, I'm going to start reaching for it. So I will put something of myself into this, even if it's not clear. I'll figure it out as I go. I like that. I'll figure it out as I go. Because the idea is that you want this star, this Four of Wands, this relationship to be there for you further out. And that means putting more of yourself into it instead of assuming that it can't be done. It's like, I can, I can, I can, and I can, and I want to, and I will. So it's a strong connection, but you're showing me difficulty surrounding the 3D. You're saying, I'm going to put something of myself into it. It means too much to me. And also, P.S., I want it to be there for me further out. Okay. It might be an investment that can't take off right away. That's the thing. But you're like, it could do in future. And that's the part you got to find out. You're saying that's the part that's driving you crazy. you got to answer that. It's like, I've been through hell and back. I want to see what the other side is like. I want to see what heaven's like. But that means putting down some basic groundwork with this. And it's no longer the impossible task. I see two people here meeting from a free state of independence of wills. Heart space connectivity, and it kind of reinforces that star. I will put something of myself into this. I will figure it out. I like that. Okay. I do. This is the moonology, of course. The 
emotions are running high in the supermoon. Yeah, I think we qualify for the supermoon. You betcha. <laughs> oh, between the lunar eclipse of the moon, the solar eclipse, yeah, I would say emotions are running high. But it's in a beautiful way. work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right about here. Working through your fears. I don't know what any of this means, and it confused me and hurt me. That's all I know. I'll never make any progress in this. Turned into, you know what? The ending was a good thing. It put me into focus of what is manageable and what it is I do want. Yeah, it's stopping me now. What have I got to lose? Hmm. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. I love it. Coffee cup oracle. One of my first, let's see, extra sassy videos will be <laughs> one of the most, it's extra sassy is in that concept is commonly asked questions or frequently asked questions. And one of the first ones is going to be the decks I use and oracles. Let me tell you. And that ho will hopefully answer any and all questions that I get. No, I don't list it in the description box because they constantly fluctuate. That's why. Um, but yeah, there you go. I can't wait to address that one. <laughs> and I will have an indefinite reference point <laughs> for all tarot decks. <laughs> the moose. Acceptance. That's what I was saying. That's what I'm saying. There's the acceptance right there. Right there at that opening, guys. I do what I do for a reason. The wisdom keeper, whale. Oh, I know. Are you very experienced? You're very wise. I know. And there's something about you that said you've... You got that long haul energy that the whale suggests, migration patterns. <sighs> Knowing your terrain and the depths of it, making space for it, be comfortable with it, you can do this. But you have the wisdom of the whale. Okay, and which magic curse? You know, it's, it's so again, talking about Taurus, they had the eye, you have the witch. What you believe is what will come through. If you believe your curse, you're going to live it. But if you believe you have magic and intuition and insight, you will live it. Everything begins with the self. If you see yourself from a negative viewpoint, I get nothing but the shit. That's working through your fears. This is what we need to do. So you have either magic or your curse, depending on your viewpoint. No, I don't believe in curses. I believe in the power we give ourselves. So again, everything begins with the self. If you believe you're cursed, you are. See how that works? And that's called negative reinforcement, negative commentary, negative feeling. But if you believe you're magical, then you are. That's also a power structure. It's positive reinforcement, positive thoughts, positive feeling. Do I view myself positively and what happened and why? I can either see this as the universe constantly defeating me and beating me down, or I can see it as a lesson that I've absorbed. I say, you know what? It was for the best and start operating under those new thoughts and new frequencies. So again, whether you are magical or cursed is entirely up to you. People give the universe and everyone else all their power away all the time. They just give it away. This is beyond my control. I'm cursed, I'm hexed, whatever. Just giving it away. Give their power away. Give their power away. Or they give it to someone else. If it weren't for them, who broke up with me 13 years ago, I'd be happy. You gave all your power away and you still do. Don't be like that. You could have been. I saw that hinge point for you where you could have chosen not to work through your fears and believe that you have no power. That's not true. You do. It comes down to what is right for you. And do you know that? And you can't know what's right for you unless you've been through some shit. Then you have to process it. So on and so forth. Acceptance is a powerful thing. It allows you to understand things about yourself that you would not have known prior to it. You know? Okay. Fifty-seven, the unmarked trail revelation. Some of you went out for a walk or a run not too long ago, and something hit you, didn't it? 
I don't know why I'm saying it so distinctly as an actual walk in the woods or on a trail, something like that. You went down a trail that was unknown to you, that you hadn't... Some of you got lost one day, not lost, but kind of like I've never been down there and you're distracted and you just want to get out of your head so you went somewhere new, right? That change of scenery in that moment and in that time is very specific and something hits you. It was a revelation. Number 57. Some of you will be entering the age of 57 soon. I don't know why. I just saw it that way. 57 might be a number two in the general sense. Some of you might be an indicate. Is it your 57th year? Upcoming? I have to insist, though, some of you took a different trail, a different path, a different something, and that's when your, your brain finally relaxed because you were in a new environment and it hits you. Something hits you. You had a moment of insight. Stars in the sky, I know. When you wish upon a star, limitless possibility indeed. I know the stars are very important to you. You have one here, and it feels like you are sometimes lost in space or set adrift, and you want and need direction. Okay. Look to that star. It's not wrong. It's with you twice. The limitless possibility, your willingness to engage in it and to keep engaging in it so it will show up for you more strongly in future, that's what's separating you from everybody else. I don't know how else to put it, honey. I just know that you got to kind of do it your way in order to figure it out. Number 51 and 36. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Here we have the Medinath Capricorn, but it's actually uh, reading their power word, which is ambitious. Okay. Imaginative. It's a medallion of cancer, but again, I'm seeing the power words of ambitious as well as imaginative. Then yours, your actual medallion, which is face up, Virgo. We have the dragon here, Aries, Leo, Sag, and then we have the leaf, the turning of the leaves. Leaves last fall might have been important, this upcoming fall, uh, but the leaf. Okay. Ah, no initials. That's all right. Virgo, I hope this helped you. Put it in the comments. Take care. Be well.